Ready? Now. <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, I think this might be my favourite car that we own. Hello everybody, welcome to Chaz Draycott Media and welcome to another episode of Gran Turismo 2. Now, you know why we're all here at the GT500 Championship entry screen? Because we need more money, look at that. Horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. All these manufacturer challenges have really bankrupted us and I've said in the last couple of episodes we're basically going to do each city, try and make it on the money we've got and then move to the next city after doing a big championship to earn the money back. So this is the championship we're going to be doing. We've got multiple cars we can enter this in as well that we've won over the course of time and I'm going to be doing them in chronological order from when we won them to the ones we've still got. I blurred out the name of the car down here because I don't want you to know what it is yet but it is one car I'm so excited to drive so let's get on with it. First round of the championship is taking place at Laguna Seca, as it always will do. It's going to be the same championship four times, basically, if we uh, carry on the way we're going. But it's a good money earner. Uh, we might do things like the Gran Turismo All-Stars Championship as well if we don't need to earn as much money next time. So you'll have to see. And I forgot about the rolling starts, but here she is, the Zexel Skyline, or as I was calling it last time out, the Sexel Skyline, because... Boy, it is a very pretty car, and this is a very, very fast car. The power is unbelievable. There is also the Takata NSX in there, which we also own. My goodness me, I think this is one of the crazy 700 horsepower R33 four-wheel drive Skylines. Look at the pace of it. We've got the Sarumo Supra in there. We've also got the, which of the NSXs is that? I can't remember which one that is. I can't remember the full name of it. I think we've also got the Calsonic GTR up front, but my, this is fast. Oh my life. The aim really is to finish, but not to take up episode after episode of doing this championship, to be fair. I think the last few times we've done it, because the races are five laps, as you see here, they were taking about two races per episode, and it was about three episodes for a championship, so we're aiming not to do that this time. I'm just going to try and get the championship done in one or two episodes, and hopefully we can carry on and move on from there, but... Sorry, not doing anything to the car, not modifying it, making it quicker than it is. I still want it to be good racing and a bit of a challenge at least. Still want to enjoy the game for what it is, but this is part of it. You know, these are the bits that sometimes in a YouTube series you wouldn't see. Somebody going away and grinding and getting the money back to then go and do further challenges. But I wanted to drive this car properly for so long since we got it. But we just had a number of other cars that we were using instead. I mean, this is just mad. It really understeers at high speed though. Now you see that little thing there, that little metal-y thing. When I was younger, I was naive enough to think they were the exhausts. And I always thought they had exhaust coming up and out of the boot, like Formula One car style, you know, have the air go up over the top of the engine cover, out of the back anyway. But you really have to brake in this thing. It is so fast. We are starting to walk away with it already and it's only the end of lap two. But just look at it. Oh, listen to the turbo. <laughs> It's so good. I mentioned grinding off screen and it's quite funny sometimes how um, Harry, my son, has started watching a lot of Minecraft YouTubers. And I must admit, even now, where they know they're going to get slated for it, there's a lot of Minecraft YouTubers that will, you know, have no materials and stuff or anything in their uh, inventory. And they'll want to make really cool stuff and obviously progress quickly and make it more interesting for people watching because you have to have that progress. And then they'll come back after ages and be like, oh, so I've done some... Uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. They'll come away like, oh, so I've been doing some, some proper grinding off screen and they'll have like a and stacks and stacks of like 64 diamonds. And it's just like, oh, mate, come on. You've been on creative mode and you made that yourself. Stop kidding yourself. Anyway, I didn't want to do any of that sort of thing. I didn't want to hide it off screen. I want to be like, look, this is the event we're doing to earn the money. This is the car that we've got. This is the car we're going to enjoy. And I am enjoying it a lot. <laughs> this is epic. Now, it's probably good in a way if the racing isn't actually fantastic if I do just drive around at the front for a bit because, admittedly, it means that there's going to be less footage to show you of interesting stuff going on, so we can probably cram the entire championship, five five-lap races, into one episode. So this is for your benefit as well as mine. That wall was not exactly for our benefit. Oh, mate, this thing just hooks up and absolutely f***s off. Oh, my God, it's so fast. Watch it out of here. Ready? Foot down, go. Well, <laughs> that could have uh, cost us a lot of money. 
luckily this thing is stupid fast and quite easy to drive actually so it really does help give us some easy money well there's win number one out of the way what a car what a car I love it absolutely love it that's it it's the Ray Brig NSX there's two of them as well championship standings look good already so does the grid oh look at it oh Okay, so big money now coming in, 50 grand for that first race. You get 50 grand for each one, and then you get, of course, 200 grand for winning the championship, and you get a GT500 car, so we can sell that for a quarter of a million and earn a lot of money. Next race. Okay, super speedway. This one's going to be super easy. Got to be ready for it. And we were. Well, all right, mate. Oh, no. Not ideal. I think there was a little bit of a touch there. But we're in the lead. This does understeer like mad at high speed. It's not got the oversteer like the NSX had, of course. Rear wheel drive, the NSX, and engine in the back. This is engine in the front with four wheel drive. It's not got anywhere near the high speed grip. Look at it. Wow. Yeah, we were getting over 200 miles an hour in the NSX, and in this, just not got anywhere near that. But it's good to see as well that it's not just like the same car underneath from the game's point of view. You know, it's actually, they've got the physics and the, the sort of nuances of each car. The benefits and the uh, the disadvantages. It doesn't have the oversteer of the NSX though because, I mean, you can just plant your foot on the exit of there and it is so solid. Look at that, that is foot down and it is just gripping, gripping, gripping like mad. Epic. Well, it was a bit of a scrappy finish, but it's another win and another 50 grand. Well, it's close in the championship, isn't it, for second place? <laughs> okay, so next one then. What's race three? I have actually genuinely forgotten what the calendar is for this championship. Rome! Oh, no. Nice. Nice reactions on the start. Through some of the high-speed stuff around here, this is going to be tough. That again, it just still feels absolutely... Oh, <laughs> Oh, okay then. It may be four-wheel drive, but there's definitely still a rearward bias. Oh, it just picks up so well out of there. Oh, God. Excuse me. That's the bit I was thinking when I said it's not going to be much fun. Oh, it is so fast, though. Sorry. Thank you. What a great championship this is. Still great now, in fact. The cars look phenomenal. Whoa. The grip there where I got back on the throttle was just insane. I love this car. I hate this track. Oh, look at the save. I love this car. Oh, I love that car as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye. Oh, he's giving me a bit of my own medicine there. Fair play. Oh, look at that, the tiniest gap there between the two of them. We only just got through it. Little NSX is getting a push. You don't need to brake, mate. Yeah, you probably need to brake there. Oh. <laughs> that is just fantastic. I stayed flat all the way through that moment. Two laps to go, and we're getting away now. Looks like we're finally going to have a good breakthrough in a major championship at Rome. Oh, good God, that was a moment. All right, watch this out of here. I've just got to get flat on it, really. Now. <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, I think this might be my favourite car that we own. It looks absolutely sublime. I love a mainly white livery with just a few stickers on it. And it goes like it looks. It's an absolute missile, and it's massive as well. It's got a huge bodywork on it. It's got a very simple front end with just a few cutouts, blanked off headlights. Oh, it's just epic. That was a fast lap, that. And what a win. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. What a car. Look at that advantage. Okay, another nice prize pot. Although, based on what we've got so far, something tells me we might do more visits to this championship than just the one after each city. Okay, Trial Mountain. This is going to be a good one as well, this. Always a good race here. Nice. Okay, again, I feel like we can absolutely nail it here, especially this section. Watch this. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. 
What a save. Oh, thank you. Cheers, Ray. <laughs> what is this? It's bonkers and it's balmy and I love it. Oh, understeer, understeer. Not so nice around there. Oh, hey, oh. Sarimo on Supra completely around. Seems like sometimes the AI have a problem in, like, overly catch the car, like, overcorrect. Oh, my Christ. Somehow that benefited us. Oh, God. Oh. I thought it was going to slide and do a weird thing, so I turned right. That was dodgy. Oh, look at the bump. What on earth was that? God, these things are so powerful. Oh, the acceleration is just bonkers. Can't even get the word right. Excuse me, Ray. Oh, there's like a little bit of compression at the bottom of that hill there. When you hit it, the car just suddenly turns left. You've got to be ready for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was so cool. Let's not hit that curb. Yeah, that's it. Keep the wheels on the ground, and it's great around here. Look at that. Lean on the NSX. Down the inside of the skyline. Oh, maybe into the back of the skyline. Yeah, I deserve that. I deserve that. Cheers, Ray. This is fantastic. Oh, get off, lad. This is frantic racing, this. Wow. That was a huge send. I've been absolutely mugged. I took a risk there, I let that slide happen and then hoped that I'd correct it on the exit because it's obviously four-wheel drive. Old versus new, white and blue versus blue and white. Oh no. Whoa, 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 that's not good. That is not good. That's a lot of money going down the drain, I can see it now. That was a genuine mistake, the car just did not want to turn at all. Well, we've come from last at Trial Mountain before and succeeded, so let's try and do it again, shall we? God, it did it again. You see that? I didn't even do anything weird. Just turn left. You get round there, lad. Come on. Oh, no. No. Whoa. It's funny how certain races in this championship, based on the circuit and how easy it is to drive the car around there, can be super easy, and then others like this can be a massive challenge. Maybe I'm just not patient enough for it. I don't know. Let's just hope one of them has an accident now. Oh, look at that. Nearly made it work. All right, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, compression. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Pooed myself, but we won. <laughs> Get in. Oh, mate. That was a good comeback, that wasn't it? That was a good comeback. Whoa. God, my hands are sweating. As XL Skyline takes a win and the championship. It is confirmed. More than double the points of anybody else now. So we are going to get that 200 grand pot. So let's do the maths. You get 250 grand if you win each race. Five races, 50 grand each. 200 grand on top of that. So you get 450 grand. Then you sell the winning car for a quarter of a million quid. You get quite a lot of money. Nearly three quarters of a million. It's so nice watching all of that tick in. <laughs> Apricot Hill. That was a look of, we got this. We've had some very good championship winning races at Apricot Hill. Uh. Almost did that in sync then with the AI. Oh. I always forget about that corner. Oh, the four wheel drive oversteer around there is horrible. Okay. I was gonna say that the grip out of there would have been amazing, but I overdid it massively. And hopefully the grip through here is good because Who made this car? Oh, look at it. <laughs> Bye, mate. Not the time to itch your nose, Charles. Not the time to itch your nose. Turn. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, I deserve that. <laughs> bye, Ray. Oh, bye, Calsonic. Oh, hi, Ray. Oh, Ray's not happy. Get out there, Ray. Come on. Go on. Go over there, then. Yeah, little cretin. I have to keep braking to get it to turn around there. Still not turning. Oh, God. <laughs> itchy nose, itchy nose, itchy nose. Brake. Now. Sorry, Ray. Sorry, Calsonic. Come on, Ray. Uh, grass. Come on, then. 
Oh, that touch really upset the car. Go, push, go, go. Oh, cheers. Cheers. That was really, really smart. Good God. I feel like we only just got missed by somebody there. Sorry, Ray. Oh, no. Maybe being in fourth gear around there was the issue last time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, let's go. Let's run away. Two hours later. This is just amazing. There's not really many words. It's just amazing to drive. Oh. Maybe not so amazing there, though. I'll take a posh me look a little bit. But that is just stupid. So good around there. And that wraps up another GT500 title in probably the best car we own. I love that Zexel Skyline. What a thing. Four. Five out of five, 250 grand out of 250 grand so far. Let's go and collect our winnings. Let's not muck about. Let's, oh, shut up. Let's get on with it. There it is. 50 grand. And we move on to take our championship winning funds. Let's just give it a moment. We don't do this that often. Nice. Gonna save. And then we'll check out this new car and, well, see how quickly we can sell it. I hope it's something I don't like. I really do. Either that or we hope it's something we've already got. Let's have a look at what we won. Hey, hey, we've already got one of them. Good. Such a cool car with a texture issue, but still, we're gonna sell it. 250k, and that now puts us on 728,845 pounds. Now I can't remember the exact figure that we had when we started the manufacturer events last time. I'll pop it up on the screen now. But we're going to carry on. We're going to head back onto the map, which you will see here. And we're going to go up to North City, because that is the next one. We're going to go from west to east. We're going to finish with all the Japanese cars and all the really cool stuff there. Anyway, that's going to come in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching once again. It's been another absolute pleasure. Another Japanese title in the bag. And we're going to do another few after this, so that's not the last time you're going to see that series. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time around.